Okay, welcome back. I just want to uh, point out a couple of features, uh, the sort of impromptu video that, that I actually will use a lot in 3.0. As a matter of fact, if they had these two things I'm showing you now in the old firmware, uh, I would have to upgrade because they're just so very useful in terms of setting up your session and then track and sound management. So that's pretty much the major two points. So if I go into Browse, into my expansions and I just pick um, a sound. I'm gonna pick a DX sound. It's one of the new expansion sounds in my total expansion bundle. Okay, so not only is it gonna load it into the track and as other people have said, uh, because of the the track organization organizational method that they use for your whole project, that no matter what sequence I have, whether it's sequence one, two, three, four, five, it's always going to keep that track consistent no matter how many sequences I develop after this initial one. All right, but what's even cooler, so if I play it. Okay, and that's this right here, and here's the effects here. Okay, now what's really cool is... Not only is it, does it name the track, the name of the sound, which is a huge production thing, workflow. If you got an MPCX, that name shows up right here on the cue link as well. So you constantly always know where you're at at all times. Um, and then, so the second thing that's very useful, uh, that's been very useful since I've been using this, is um, if I go into here and if I go into browse, and I find another sound. Let's say I go to piano sound. So I'll load this new Studio Grand. So this is another new Studio Grand I put into the expansion bundle into the uh, the key stage uh, bundle. But check this out, it did the automatic purge of the old sound. It renamed the track. And on the cue link right here, as you see right here, it now says Studio Grand. Okay, so that is a huge, huge, big deal. All right. And what's kind of cool about this, now let's go one step further. If I go back to Browse, all right, and we're just covering this little small segment here. If I find another sound, let's say it's rock piano. If I want to add it to the session, so the way it used to work before is I would, I would have to go and load a sound and then add another track and then match that track. Now I can just load to a new track. So now instead of copying over and purging the previous sound of the Studio Grand, I'm just adding it to the session, plus it's automatically populating in the next track. So the next track will have the name. Okay, so if I hold this down, better yet, if I double tap the main, you're going to see your tracks view, and now you see SW Rock. And then... Right here, it says SW Rock. If I go back to here, now it says Studio Grand. Okay. And now you have two tracks quite simply set up. Uh, and then, because they have the new track button right here, I can go traditionally back into here and, and click, let's say I want a drum sound. All right. And I just hit Browse. And if I come up with a new track, here's some new drum kits I've added called the NI series. All right, so again, it's gonna automatically populate the next track that I've created. So if I go into here, it's right here. Okay, so that's what I like the most so far about this. Uh, there's some other things and small subtleties, again, the previous MPC software, there was really nothing too horrible about it. It was actually pretty good. You can make some fantastic music with the MPC 
uh, X software, but these advancements that I'm showing right now, uh, at least for me, uh, bring a really high level quality of life when it comes to setting up the session and, and so forth and so on, especially with the sounds in here. So anyway, any leave any quick questions or comments uh, below. And until next time, peace out.